Okay, so I have my slab cut for my handle, but I want to form it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some newspaper and because I want it to dry a little bit. That's actually too much. I place this underneath to keep it in the shape that I want. I'm thinking something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna set it to the side and let it dry a little bit, just like that. Okay, because I want it a little bit more leather hard than it is right now. Remember that you need to be able to get your hand in it and so on. Okay, so I set that to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry for a little bit. And then I can start adding my designs. Okay, so I cut, um, I used my stencil before as I showed you. Okay, and I cut all my little circles out. Okay, uh, now these are much thinner, like I said, than um, the clay that I used for my mug. So if you look at the difference, okay, this is super thick. This is about a quarter of an inch. This is like teeny tiny, okay? Because I'm gonna put this on the outside, I don't want it so thick when you build it that it's too thick it might blow up, okay? So all I'm gonna do just mark out where I want my stuff. Okay, like so. I'm gonna go ahead and slip and score where I want that. Okay, so I scored it. Go ahead and add some slip. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I gotta be careful because bending my mug. I'm gonna add that on top. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my next one. Okay, and my slip. So I'm gonna add it on top, kind of pressing it down, making sure it sticks. Now, some of your slip might come out. That's fine because you're gonna to wanna to go back onto everything that you add. You wanna come around and blend it, okay? I'm also gonna to wanna to add a little teeny tiny coil around that object. To make sure it stays. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna blend this. This is not the best tool. Okay, to make sure it stays. Now, one thing that a lot of us do, okay, is when we blend, then we lose our design because what we do is we do this okay and now our design does not stick out very well okay so what you want to do is even though you added that coil you want to come in here smooth this out go around your edges as well and make this nice and clean so you can still see the difference between the two objects. Okay, so if you can tell, this side is blended more. This side, you can see the object much better. I went in and made sure that there was still a difference in the two shapes, the background and the shape I just added. Okay, this one's blended, this one's better. All right, so we wanna do that for all of our areas and you have to take your time. Some of us get rushed. We're just trying to get it done real quick, okay? 
You gotta take your time to make it look nice. And come in here, kind of clean this up a little bit. Making sure I'm blending it so it stays. And then I would obviously go in and do this one over here on the left, okay? But that is now on there, nice and secure. And there's a difference between my design and my mug, okay? <laughs> 